Hi, welcome back. Inequalities. Lesson number two. Relation between arithmetic mean and geometric mean of two numbers. Here is the question. If A and B are two positive real numbers, show that the arithmetic mean M of A and B is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean GM of A and B. Let's see how we can proceed. First, we will write the equation for arithmetic mean, which is half A plus B. A and B are the positive real numbers. Similarly, we can write an equation for geometric mean, which is given by A times B square root. Now let's take x and y be the positive square roots of a and b respectively. That means a is equal to x squared. That means x is the square root of a. If you square x, you get a. a is equal to x squared. Also b is equal to y squared because y is the positive square root of b. Now what we are going to do here is that we apply a, the values of a and b in terms of x and y in this equation. Arithmetic mean half a plus b is equal to half times a is equal to x squared plus b is equal to y squared. Similarly we can do that for the geometric mean where geometric mean is the root of a b which is equal to a is equal to x squared, b is equal to y squared. We substitute x squared times y squared, which is actually equal to xy full squared. And when you take the square root, it will become xy. That is the geometric mean of AB in terms of x and y. x and y are the positive square roots of the given two numbers. Okay, let's see how are we going to show this condition. What we got here is that arithmetic mean is equal to half x squared plus y squared. Geometric mean is xy. Let's take an expression here. Since square of a real number cannot be negative, we can write x minus y full squared is greater than zero. That is, x can be any number, y can be any number. In this case, we took it as the square root of a and square root of b. But irrespective of that, if you take any number, make it square, and then it should be greater than or equal to 0. Equal uh, sign will happen when x and y are equal. But x can be greater or y can be greater. Whatever the case, when you square that number, you get a positive number or 0 then it is greater than 0 or equal to 0. Now what we are going to do here is expand this uh, expression x minus y squared will become x squared times minus xy minus xy two times will come in the middle that means minus 2xy and minus y times minus y become plus y squared which is still greater than 0. Now what we do is rearrange the terms where we take the negative 2xy to the right hand side of the expression and keep the x squared plus y squared in the left hand side. x squared plus y squared now is greater than 2xy. Again we can write you take this 2 down here that will become half when you when you bring 2 across the sign here it will go as a division here half times x squared plus y squared is greater than xy. Now I think you can see the expression here. Half x squared plus y squared is basically the arithmetic mean and xy is the geometric mean. So actually we have proved that. That means half x squared plus y squared can be replaced with am. xy can be replaced with gm. 
that means arithmetic mean is always greater than the geometric mean but there's a condition where it can be equal if the two numbers are equal then arithmetic mean equal to geometric mean so for example if a equal to b then x equal to y then you get x squared plus y squared will become 2x squared and then you take 2x squared divided by 2 become x squared greater than if x equal to y this become x times x x squared so that means x squared equal to x squared basically it is a zero so basically equal equal, equal sign will will be that case that is if you have two numbers a and b equal then x and y will become equal then this sign will become equal that means arithmetic mean will become equal to geometric mean so these are the two conditions we can show that arithmetic mean is greater than gm in the case when a is not equal to b if a equal to b arithmetic mean is equal to geometric mean end of the solution thank you